Hello there. Uh, in this tutorial, I'll try to teach you how to do the super saw. Super saw was an oscillator used in GP8000, really popular to do those kind of techno trancey sounds. So, to start off, we'll you be using Sound One. It is a really good synthesizer, it has a high quality oscillators and filters. So, to start off, go to uh, choose one of these patches, so we we'll click in here the blue bar and uh, you can choose this one, I really initiate it this is for initiate the, the sound one so now that you have um, uh, the oscillators at front of you, this is oscillator A part B is oscillator B2 and B1 so we'll be using the first part the first thing we should do is leave the polyphony at 8. Now you should, uh, we're gonna do uh, two octaves so the first one you're gonna leave at 0 the second one you're gonna rise to 1 so you're gonna pan the first oscillator to the left and the second to the right also we should leave a fine tuning to the left about 10 or 12. Uh, also to the second one. Uh, it's really important to to set off the trigger so it doesn't have that kind of hard sound at the beginning when the, we hit a note the phase of the oscillator just doesn't sync. So um, what you should do next is to put the voices to 8 so you could set on the oscillator. Uh, if you set at zero, no sound is heard by the second oscillator. So you should pu put at least at one. But uh, we're going to do the super saw, so you're going to put at eight voices. So you're going to have that kind of uh, really fat sound. So uh, at the second oscillator, put the saw tooth. Um, next thing to do is to put the detune up to almost to the middle next to 5 this is quite a big sound now we should put this one two let's kind of hear what it sounds to this already kind of a fat sound already one thing you, we should do next too is to put the filter to AB so you can use both oscillators of the f of the part A and B, one thing you can do uh, so is to turn off this one. You can you don't gonna need the uh, the part B of the of the filter. So at the part A, put the filter, the filter control, really open. The cutoff a little back to about uh, six thirds, a little resonance to give a really high end. No need to set drive. 12 decibels is going to be really great for the filter. And um, almost on. So uh, we should give a little release so the sound going to decay a little bit. Let's hear it. A little bit more maybe. Okay. Now the next thing we should do. Gonna, ah. One thing that I almost forgot is to put the low pass. This since I'll forget the low sound. Okay, almost fat now. Um, okay, I think this part is done. We're gonna do the same thing to uh, to the second part. You're gonna put like the other. Gonna put octave zero and one. I'm going to put the release in there. Uh, exactly, we can inverse this, but uh, I know you can just try to. We're going to try to inverse this. I know if this is going to be a great idea, but you can try to put different octaves with different pannings like we did in part A. So in part A, octave 1 was to the right. Uh, octave 
plus 1 is to the left in part B. So you're gonna choose now the sawtooth waveform, 8 voices, 8 voices in here too. We, we are doing the, the four oscillators, so for a really big fat sound, so I hope this makes it. So, okay, the tune almost to the middle, same as oscillator B1, a little fine tuning to the left and to the right. Leave filters as they are. Um, let's test the sound to see how it is. Okay, it's really getting really fat now. Uh, I think it is almost done here. So now, when you see part of the sound, it, we have to put some kind of effect. You know, we, we could use the built-in effects like a Q delay and reverb in, in this built-in of the silent but uh, I don't think they are the greatest for this kind of effect so we have to use external effects. For this I've chosen to use Zeta external effects. It is another synthesizer but you could use the uh, effects like uh, like extra plugin so you're gonna use the the Zeta effects and uh, one thing about the Z effects is they has great presets, like and they also has a preset. It's called the GP8000. This is the one that they use for this kind of super soft sound. So we're gonna choose the C. We're gonna go to the list and choose the classic GP8000. So now we had that kind of trancy sound. So let's gonna test it to see how it sounds. <laughs> I'm gonna put a little bit of effects of my mixer just to sound a little bit more big. Okay, now I'm gonna try to do a, a little song to see if this works well. I think it's a uh, it's ready. So um, one thing I'll do could do like uh, like kind of uh, trans cascada files so, so uh, songs. So let's try to. I've already uh, made some kind of uh, song. So let's try this. <laughs> Okay, thanks for watching, see you next time.